Monday, everybody. How is everyone feeling? Grand. Thank you for feedback, NASA. <laughs> uh, guys, we'll get moving. Pump and core. We'll get nice and swole for the summer. May is just around the corner. Uh, I think we've do I think we've done this section before. We'll go through it anyway. We'll explain it all. Now, at this stage, guys, we have been doing pump and core nearly a year, and I'm pretty sure all of you have been doing it from the start. Everyone that's in this group, so you're all seasoned veterans at doing pump and core at this stage. All right. But I think everyone knows what the three movements that we are that we're doing. Uh, we're doing an an ascending, yes, an ascending ladder, starting at one rep, uh, one rep, one rep of each, uh, one all the way up as far as 10 reps, okay? So the first movement that we're doing is bicep curls, pretty straightforward. Second movement is your V-ups, that's your ab work. And then your last movement is your skull crushers, which is your tricep work, okay? Again, guys, as you know, we're doing this, uh, we're trying to isolate a specific muscle. So the first one there, we're trying to isolate the bicep. The second one, we're trying to isolate the midline, and the third one, then, we're trying to isolate the skull crushers, okay? So uh, I really want you to try and focus on that. And when you get to the point of when it starts to burn, really focus on isolating the muscle and don't start swinging. Like, for example, with the bicep curl, don't start swinging with your hips and getting your hips involved because it's getting really hard in your bicep, okay? Uh, with the V-ups, guys, if you want to start difficult and scale it back, but again, just make sure we're getting that ab work in as opposed to the same thing again, just using our legs or using our arms or something in order to give our midline a rest when we're doing the movements. And then skull crushers again, I think they're probably the easiest movement out of the three. Simple, just keep working the twice. All right. Now, has anyone any questiones? Is it not that we get rest? Like one rep, one second rest, two seconds rest? Yeah, I'm with that because that's normally what we do. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I, I think we're supposed to have rest, Virgo. If Kean has trained any of his staff member to do anything, it is that Wattify is gospel. Right. What he sends us out and what ends up in Wattify can be different, but he said whatever's on Wattify is gospel, and Wattify says there is no rest. It never says rest, though. The Jenny, and I have, Jenny and I have been doing this since, like, the first lockdown. <laughs> Yeah, but Keen's just making it more difficult. But then what's the point in like the one? Because you just keep moving for that amount of time. But no, you're doing one bicep curl, one V up, and then one skull crusher. Oh. And then two bicep curls, two V ups, and then two skull crushers. So it's not, I know the one that you're talking about, one all the way up to 10. But your rest, yeah. Time, yeah, I know that one. This one's different. This is like a, a chipper. So you're going to do your one bicep curl. You're going to get a rest. You're going to do your one V up. You get a rest. You're going to get one skull crusher and you get a rest. So we do get a rest. Well, no, you don't rest. Like you just try and do <laughs> <laughs> Any okay. questions on it, guys? Everyone understand the format? It's a little bit different to that one. Because again, like... Uh, I share my screen. Yes, this is the document that Keen was sent us. Anything, any notes that we need to know? He normally has them written down here. There's no notes, so I have to assume that he wants you to just work through it. Okay. But if not, it's Keen's fault. All right. We'll do a quick shoulder warm up, guys. We get the war shoulders nice and warm and loose, and then we'll get moving straight away. Lovely, guys. Same warm up we've been doing the last couple of weeks. We're just going to start to draw circles with our arms. We're going around like a tennis ball. We're going forwards. All the while doing this, guys, think about where your shoulder blades are. Are they pinched together at the back or are you nice and loose and you're putting everything through your front delt? Okay, we're gonna to start to go around the football. Once you're done with the football, we're going around that yoga ball. Oh, Jesus, my body. Now I want you to get your biceps to rub off your ears and make as big a circle as you humanly possibly can. And then we're gonna relax. And we're gonna go all the way back to the very start, but we're gonna go in the opposite direction. So if you're going forwards, you're going backwards. If you went backwards, you're going forwards. We're going around that tennis ball first. Everyone should be starting to feel the burn on their biceps. We're gonna go around the football. 
Then we're going around the basketball. Then we're going around the yoga ball. A little bit faster. And then we're going biceps to our ears. Lovely. We'll get cracking straight into it. So guys, let's get our weight ready. Uh, shite. Look guys, give me two seconds. I need to get a... Lovely guys, everyone know, everyone's happy and understands the, the way that we're doing the workout. So you do one rep of each, it's an ascending ladder. So you do one rep of each, you do two reps of each, three reps, so on and so forth until you get all the way to 10. You rest as needed between sets, but there is no dictated rest, Jenny, right? And we're gonna go in a three, two, one, off we go. Starts with that one bicep curl guys. Down into your V up and then into your skull crusher. So, again, guys, keep your triceps perpendicular to the ground. Isolate that tricep as much as you can. So guys, when we're getting through that bicep curl, don't let your hips swing. Think about just the stretch on your bicep. The first few rounds will fly by, guys, but remember you're not halfway through it until you get to the round of sevens. On those V-ups, guys, maintain a really good hollow body.
Nice, don't. Up and down was the hardest bloody thing. Huh? <laughs> Getting up and down. Got the transitions. Yeah, that was the hardest. But you did great, T. I did, I did. Thanks very much. Uh, <laughs> all right. Good luck to you all who are doing the uh, thingy. You've another five minutes, Virgo. What, what, what are you going to? Are you going to entertain them for the next five minutes? Uh, no, I'm actually going to end it once Shano's finished. Because channel's done, will we?